Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from oil and gas training session. Uh, welcome all to this video. Hope you have watched all of my previous videos regarding basic instrumentation and control and other in general oil and gas training videos. If you didn't watch, please subscribe this channel and uh, go, please uh, visit uh, each video uh, to get uh, more and more information. So, welcome to this video. This is the oil and gas uh, training session and uh, basic instrumentation control uh, uh, series, 9th uh, video as a part 9 basic instrumentation and control system, uh, final control element, control walls. In previous uh, sessions, uh, 1 to 9 series, we have studied about uh, sensors, transmitters, controllers, uh, all various other parts of a control system. So, in this one, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, final control element, uh, mostly control walls. Some other final control elements are there, but in this video, we are discussing uh, only on uh, control walls. Welcome to this video final control elements. The final control element makes adjustments to the process in response to the signal from the controller. So, we have already studied in previous uh, uh, sessions uh, about the controller and uh, how the sensor is taking the signal, sensor is sensing the process variable change and uh, the signal sending to the transmitter and from transmitter we are changing the signal to uh, true signal to suitable form like uh, either pneumatic or uh, electronic then it is sending to controller and controller uh, is uh, compared with the set point and producing a suitable output so up to that we have already studied so the final control element makes adjustments to the process in response to the signal from the controller so, the purpose of the final control element is to manipulate or adjust the process as required to keep the measured variable at the set point. So, this is the uh, function of a final control element. Uh, the picture is there, final control element, I told you that one, mostly in the wall. There are some other parts as well, this one, this uh, blue color one and this area and this area. We will give more information on the upper part of the uh, control valve and the lower part is coming to a mechanical valve. So, different type of valve we are going to discuss in our uh, piping and valves section that is in later, not now. But these two areas we are going to discuss uh, in this uh, class, uh, what is this uh, component and what is this component and in general also. So, welcome to this video. I kindly request you to watch all other uh, videos regarding uh, basic instrumentation as well as uh, that is uh, oil and gas in general, oil and gas process in general. So, you will get a better understanding. Uh, the, the videos are arranged in a systematic manner. So, you will get an idea on uh, how the process is going on. <coughs> so, control valves, so the function of a control valve is to control the amount of fluid that flows through it. By controlling the flow of fluids, we can also control the other process variable example, pressure, temperature, flow and liquid level. The types of control valves are globe valves or butterfly valves, not only globe and butterfly, many other types of valves are there. So, that we will discuss, I told you that one in valve section. Uh, they have a valve actuator is there, that is a new word is there, actuator. We will look into that, what is actuator. Control valves are important in, in any piping system where you want automatic controls. Modern plants use a lot of automatic control from a centralized control room. So, valve actuator, what is a valve actuator? Valve actuators are devices that provide the force to move a valve. So, we can say that a valve actuator, this is the actuator, look at to that one, it is a pneumatic actuator, it is written. So, actuator is a driver of a valve, you can say. 
you can say some way is is a driver of a valve to he is giving the command to the valve stem to the valve body to the mechanical valve to open or close where he is receiving the signal he is receiving the signal from our control room or you can say uh, specifically we can say it is a signal received from controller from the controller that signal coming to uh, the driver driver is the local man who is sitting there like a man he is uh, sitting there to give, receiving the command and giving a suitable command to open or close the control valve in a simple way so the uh, valve actuators are a devices that provide the force to move a valve a driver is giving acceleration to the car same like provide the force to move a valve move a valve means move the uh, stem to open or close according to the uh, control signal they open close or adjust or maintain a set value position by pulling pushing or rotating the valve stem there are number of different type of valve actuators that can be used so we are not going to study different type of actuator that is in, the, in another class but here the control signal how it is reaching to the controller uh, sorry control valve stem or diaphragm or actuator then how it is working this in general we are going to study so in this uh, picture electronic signal from the transmitter is coming in the controller controller output is coming to i2p what is i2p we already have discussed that in the previous session electronic signal is coming from the electronic controller but uh, our uh, actuator is a pneumatic type so we cannot give a electronic signal to pneumatic actuator so we are com converting that one into a i2p converter uh, uh, it's uh, current to pneumatic uh, converter and uh, for pneumatic converter transducer we need a suitable compressed air supply that we have separately given to that compressor air supply to this uh, uh, converter so air supply and uh, uh, control signal will uh, calibrate and uh, adjust and produce a suitable output to the uh, actuator then we are uh, how much opening is uh, recommended from the opening or closing or how much adjustment recommended from the controller output the equivalent uh, force is producing here from the actuator to the valve stem to the valve opening element uh, to open or close uh, to maintain that uh, Uh, proper uh, uh, output to keep that uh, uh, process variable adjustment in uh, valve opening or closing so this is a valve actuator job so this picture will give a detailed idea of uh, how the signal coming to the valve actuator and to the valve body pneumatic actuator operation most control valves use a pneumatic valve actuator already i have discussed that this is a pneumatic actuator air pressure from the actuator positions the valve stem a pneumatic valve actuator is attached to the to a valve the valve stem connect to the valve disc to a diaphragm inside the valve actuator the actuator has a rod that connect the actuator diaphragm to the valve stem of a globe or water flow valve or different type of any valve the diaphragm moves by increasing or decreasing the air pressure pushing on the diaphragm the air pressure is increased or decreased by the operator in the control room when he moves the valve controller so we will uh, different type of actuator is there so actuator is the uh, driver of the valve to receive the signal and giving the command to the valve total valve system to open or close to maintain the Uh, position to maintain the process variable in a according to the set point so actuator various type of actuator is there spring uh, piston type hydraulic type electric type we are not going to study that one in detail now but we are studying how uh, different type of actuator one is a spring and diaphragm actuators direct acting what is it is a direct acting uh, the air receiving air pushes down on the diaphragm and the opposing spring tends to lift the diaphragm that is direct acting so when the actuator is uh, direct so the valve opening also direct so reverse acting is uh, both are reverse one one is will act direct and one is will act uh, uh, opposite actuator air acts on the bottom of the surface of the diaphragm 
to lift the spring pushes or pulls it down we will see that one what is uh, how it is happening there is two control valve uh, picture is there so look at that one this 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 uh, left side picture will give air in and there is a diaphragm is there like a black color it is there in a oval shape that is giving that this one diaphragm plate you can say and down to top and actuator stem is there adjusting which is a travel indicator whatever it is so here it is air pushes down what type of this one direct acting valve air pushes down so when air pushes down the spring lift and valve open close in that way so but in this one reverse acting the same concept is there actuator shaft is there seating and yoke and valve stem everything is there but the air is giving from the bottom so one important information is air pushes down and air lift so it is a reverse acting some more information you will get from the next slides look at that one in this one <clears throat> look at that this is a, a example of a valve stem and a diaphragm Uh, so or you can say diaphragm plate you can say this one this is the the black color is a diaphragm plate and uh, spring is there and the valve valve uh, connecting to the opening element area so all four look at that one actuator action direct valve action direct just to go through the back side air pushes down direct acting that we are air pushes down on the diaphragm and the opposing spring tend to lift the diaphragm so look at that one actuator action direct valve action direct and actuator action reverse valve action reverse and valve opens this one we will discuss in last last slide and here both direct uh, direct direct reverse reverse and here actuator action reverse but valve action direct here it is actuator action direct and valve action reverse so just to uh, take some time review it properly what is happening here to understand this one here actuator action direct from pushes down so valve action also direct either so actuator action down valve action down actuator action up valve action up so both are uh direct here also same reverse but in this case it is uh, both reverse and direct direct and reverse like that one. on what is on air failure in case uh, we already discussed that one for the operation of the this uh, diaphragm plate we are subjecting we are sending we are pushing the air that is a driver actually that is a driver so when that the driver stops or air stop yeah, here we are discuss, we are telling that one the word is on air failure af air failure air fail we stop the air what will happen automatically in this two case direct direct reverse reverse this case valve will go to open position that is the concept that is a design in that way so it is going to open position valve but uh, the other case reverse direct and direct reverse case in case of air failure valve will close you will understand uh, it will take some time but uh, after the one slide or two slide you end here this uh, uh, video you will get a better idea on this one why this uh, valve open and valve close on air failure why it is important we will discuss that one. so <clears throat> the same thing uh, explain little better uh, this one actuator action direct actuator action direct this is the actuator this is the spring and other uh, connecting system is direct actuator so valve work direct overall fail that is air fail fail open it is open the uh, notation is ato air ato it is uh, air to air to open or air to close that is air to open ato it is so 
air to close. So, air fail it will open air to close that is the direct. Here it is fail open then ATC both all almost uh, correct. Here it is direct direct and uh, fail open this one. Overall reverse or uh, direct it is reverse active. Same way is to look at that one reverse reverse fail open ATC. Reverse direct fail close air to open reverse acting. So direct acting uh, sorry this is a direct acting direct acting it is direct reverse fail close ATO. So these are the conditions are giving or uh, giving the information or better idea on how the actuator and uh, valve plug is uh, acting on various conditions or direct and reverse acting. Uh, one more uh, simple picture is uh, giving to understand more. Uh, remember that some these type of pictures uh, I am taking from the uh, Google with reference to many other uh, courtesy to many other uh, uh, well wishers or uh, good people are uh, giving that one. I have a extreme courtesy to this uh, taking them and thanks to them. This I am using only for teaching purpose uh, or not any other uh, uh, purpose only for uh, teaching activity. <coughs> so valve actuators uh, look at that one uh, earlier we saw that, uh, see this uh, picture and in right side we have connected a valve also. So air inlet from the uh, top and the spindle movement with increase in air pressure when the air pressure increase so spindle movement is there and direct acting spring react air to close normally open this valve and here it is air is uh, either from bottom or the side and spindle movement is with the increase in the air pressure this one and reverse acting spring extended air to open normally closed these are the uh, uh, rare acting and the reverse acting valve control valve operation actuators operation okay so actuator reaction on failure that is a sliding stem in case the valve is either open or closed by a pneumatic actuator and the action is reversed by the action of a powerful spring this means the valve will be air failed to open or air failed to close depending on the type of valve fitted to the actuator so that is called AFO air fail open or AFC air fail close in the diagram below both actuators are direct acting but because of different valves are fitted to the actuator the valves have opposite action on air failure Look at that one AFO and AFC. So you will get uh, some more idea. Air failure and open close. So AFO, what is AFO here? Where is the air supply? It is a push down to close type valve. Push down to close type valve. Here it is push down to open type valve. So AFO is air failure to open, push down to close. So uh, when the air fail, it will open. Push down to open what type of valve is AFC, air fail to close. So that is this valve. So some minor difference is there. Uh, just two access means the addition screw is there, uh, steam net is there, travel indicator is there, valve stem is there. So all are just to giving the difference between AFO valves and the AFC valves. Where we use FC valve and FO valve? So this is the important question. To get a proper safety and a protection of the process equipment from any abnormality, we use this FC valve and FO valve. Most of the case in general, in general, I am talking in general, the inlet, all inlet lane, we have discussed in uh, previous uh, uh, separator and uh, some other equipment, uh, we have discussed that one in the inlet case, all inlet we use uh, FC type valve. What is it to fail to close valve or you can say AFC valve, air fail to close valve in the inlet means you can stop the inlet and most of the gas out, out, outlet discharge lane we use in general a type valve and some other valves are there blow down valve and shut down valve. These valves according to the uh, protection logic we are using we can use either FC or FO but uh, in general inlet all inlet are providing AFC valve and all outlet are uh, gas outlet we provide 
FO valve. So, blow down valves are uh, in general sometimes the close and uh, open type valve means uh, fail to open valve, blow down valve. So, that we will uh, definitely we will uh, in detail we are going to study with uh, in, uh, in uh, later videos on that one uh, uh, safety features and safeguard operation section we are going to study that one. So, then uh, control valve accessories, one of the important control valve accessories also we have to discuss before uh, going to close this uh, um, uh, control, final control element uh, uh, video. So, positioner, one of the other important one. So, actuator is this one, this is the actuator and this one is positioner. So, what is positioner? What does a positioner actually do? A positioner is uh, generally mounted on the side as shown in the figure or in the bottom or up or different location. So, top of an actuator or positions and positions the valve stem ac accurately can be seen in the figure. It, it does uh, this by means of a mechanical linkage attached to the valve stem. This gives a position feedback so that the valve stem position can be positioned accordingly proportional to the incoming signal from the control output. So, this is the positioner, how it is working, what is the uh, importance of positioner in this uh, uh, final control element and the, this control system. Actuator is there and the positioner is there, valve body is there. So, it is clear that one. The relationship between the controller output signal and the actual valve position can be changed by calibrated by positioner to a different input and input relationship. In addition, two or more valves can be operated differently on the same control signal to form a split range system with either air to open or air to close, both if required. So, we will just to get some more idea. So, the control signal is coming to positioner. So, positioner will adjust to calibrate that one to give a proper uh, output signal from this one to uh, diaphragm or uh, actuator. So, just to see that one uh, we will get it that uh, from this is the process line. So, control valve is there, <coughs> the pressure transmitter is there, pressure transmitter is there, the pressure sensing and uh, transmitter is uh, sending the signal to controller. So, controller is, uh, is a, this is a pneumatic controller or you can put a electronic controller. That is why if it is, uh, that is why pneumatic controller is instrument supply is there. So, output uh, is the uh, controller is con uh, comparing with the set point and uh, the output is producing. That output is coming to, this is the instrument output or controller output is coming to the component which we call a positioner. So, positioner normally two input is coming. One is the instrument the controller output that is coming. That controller output is giving the instruction or telling the positioner or control valve how much you need to adjust, how much you have to open or close. That is the controller output. But that signal uh, strength is not sufficient to open the valve or close the valve. So, that is why we are uh, injecting, we are providing uh, IAS is instrument air supply, compressed instrument air supply. So, this is a much greater pressure than the uh, uh, controller output signal. So, this signal they will discuss and or discuss means uh, calibrate each other and it provide that to the required output signal from the positioner to the uh, diaphragm or the actuator to meet the requirement of the valve stem to open or close. So, clear that one. So, controller output is telling to 50 percentage open or 50 percentage close, whatever it is, some percentage to open or close. So, that signal is not sufficient to drive or push the valve to open or close. In that case, we are supplying another instrument signal, instrument supply that is a higher pressure. That pressure we are giving this one. So, this both signal to discuss, calibrate inside and provide a suitable output to giving instruction to diaphragm to push the diaphragm to open or close 50 percentage. This is the uh, concept of uh, positioner. Also, positioner is uh, sending a feedback to uh, controller as well uh, after opening this one. 
so this one pt will give the signal again to controller whether it is open or closed and the processor has one more job is there processor receive the control signal to suppose say open to immediately open to 50% it will take some time and slowly take in the action open slowly or close slowly not sudden action so it will uh, normalize the signal smoothen the signal and provide a smooth operation of the control wire. if no person is there a sudden signal will come tuck it will go quick action on the control wall so positional will give a smooth action on the control wall also so this is the function of a positional uh, so this is another picture i taken from uh, uh, google so look at that one the inlet outlet is there valve body is there position sensor is there pneumatic actuator is there so the control signal is coming to positional plus air supply also coming so these two are coming and the output is going to uh, optional signal uh, position signal so the output is going from here to here the positioner so local closed loop position control is there so this one and uh, finally i am using a video from uh, courtesy from instrumentationtools.com see look at that one picture is it is zero milliamps is now it is the milliamps is increasing 8 to 12 amps and 20 when it is reaching 20 the full diaphragm is lifting up and valve is fully open so look at that one it is starting from zero again look at this one valve is closed now when the output signal is increasing the valve stem is increasing and the diaphragm is going up total system is going up valve is going to open now the liquid is passing through the valve so review this uh, video watch this video again and again you will get understand a, a smooth uh, uh, how the this entire process is working and uh, courtesy to instrumentation tools and uh, this is i used with reference to their picture and video small video this is using only for educational purpose yeah. thank you for watching this video i hope you have understand uh, uh, information on uh, control valves uh, and uh, actuators and the uh, positioner definitely we will come back with uh, more videos soon please join our telegram channel infos by hamsavi baba for uh, getting timely updation of uh, various informations uh, definitely we are planning a number of uh, other uh, new videos on uh, various other subjects uh, definitely we will come back soon so thank you for watching this have a good day